So here we're looking at Power BI and the content packs that are available. What we want to do is see what's available out of the box provided by Microsoft. So Jess, what, what have we got we can look at? Okay, so here we are in my demo environment of Power BI um, and you can see here that we've got this option to choose some content packs um, that Microsoft have set up and provided. So if I just click on the little button get here, so you see this has opened up AppSource and specifically it's showing me all of the apps that are available for Power BI. Um, now if I scroll through you'll see there's an awful lot that is available. Um, so there is this handy little search box here. So I will put in Dynamics 365 which is what CRM is also known as and that then shows me a reduced number of results. So there's two content packs available. There's one available for customer service and there's one available for sales. So in this demo, we're gonna show you the customer service um, app that's available. So you can see here, you've got insights about your customer service performance activities and active cases. If I click in, it'll give you a little bit more information as well as an example of what a dashboard in Power BI might look like. So let's go ahead and get this add in. So if I go get it now, what it's then going to do is ask me for the URL for my CRM company. So I will just pop that in. Pop that in here. And we'll say next. It's then going to ask me for the authentication method. So we're going to use the Office Authentication. So that will then bring up my Office 365 um, details and you'll see me here, so I'm just gonna click on that one. So, so this will give us a data set, a report and dashboard ready to work with? Pretty much, yeah, just straight out the box. Nothing really to configure, you can pretty much using it, start using it straight away. Excellent, and then I can share that dashboard just like normal? Yes, with as many or as few people in your organization as you want to. Excellent. So you'll see here now, uh, we've got our data imported from CRM and you see our data, uh, data sets ready here and Power BI can help you explore that further if you want to. Um, I'll just get rid of that message for now. So you'll see on this standard dashboard, there's loads of information that's really, really helpful. Um, just from things like your total um, active cases, you can see the number of cases resolved in the last seven days. If you escalate cases in your organization, you can look at what percentage are being escalated, whether that's to first line support, second line support, or to a manager. Um, one of the nice things as well that you can start to track is things like how long is it taking you on average to deal with a complaint and close it out. And you've got all sorts of other really, really great data to explore in Power BI on customer service. So then if we look at the report, So you can see along the bottom, we've got all of these different reports that we can go and have a look at. Um, and again, just the way that the data is presented. So if we just have a quick look across the, the tabs, what do we have available? So we've okay, got. So you've got one here on showing all about the active cases that are going on in the organisation right now. Um, we've then got a nice one um, around performance um, KPIs. So again, this is looking at kind of how many in the last seven days typically have come in, have been resolved what's the average handling time, how many of those had to be escalated in order to get them resolved. Um, you can look at things as well by date. So you can start to look for trends that there might be the busiest day of the week that you're actually getting complaints coming in or queries coming in. We've then got performance trends as well. So from what we can see here, this really is around the service level agreements functionality within CRM. And what this is basically telling you is things like, have we met um, our first response service level agreement? You can see here we've got two actually that are non-compliant. So straight away, I can then start to drill into that information to understand a bit more about why they were non-compliant. Um, you've then got things like the service level agreement um, met based on a the created date, so at what percentage have we met those service level agreements we've set for ourselves, um, and so on. So that's really around how well the organisation is performing in terms of case management. And if one of these visualisations was a bit small and indistinct, we could select that visualisation. Yep. 
and maximize it in focus mode. Focus mode, yeah. And then you can start to move along. So we haven't got that much data in our demo environment, which is why this one looks a little bit sparse. And then you can simply click back to report there. So one of the other reports available is around the actual activities that the customer service team are performing. So you can see here this lovely chart that shows us the different types of activity. So whether it's phone calls, emails that are going on, um, whether opportunities are being closed out um, and that kind of thing. So you can start to really look at, okay, what is the activity levels? What's all the most popular activities? Is it still phone call? Does most things come in by email these days? That kind of thing really. Very, very thorough in terms of its coverage. Would you say that this was actually giving you a good snapshot of the data you'd expect to see in the entire system? This is fantastic. I mean, certainly from a customer service management point of view, you don't even have to really log into CRM at this point. I could just have this Power BI dashboard. Um, which I can then use to look at the data, understand the data, um, understand where I need to kind of prioritise my time as a manager or support my staff um, in helping yeah. to get cases resolved. Um, so the beauty is, is that I may only need a kind of restricted licence for CRM because actually the data I need I can see from Power BI. So it might help their overall business cost planning yes. for licence planning? Yeah. Okay. So if we just have a look at the last page, see what's on there. So Knowledge Manager is around something called Knowledge Base, which exists in CRM. Um, and that's kind of your little library of where you can store sort of user manuals, procedures, product information, data sheets. It's like a little mini database you can go and search for knowledge. Um, and so what this particular um, report is designed to show you is if there are, you can see here, there's some new draft articles. Actually, they need to be reviewed before they can be published to the company to be able to search and use those articles. Um, if there's any articles that have expired, um, so that again they need to be reviewed to see do we let them carry on or is there a new article that takes its place, they'll appear here and also any that I need to be aware of that are going to expire at the end of this month. So again it's designed to just help you keep on top of what knowledge have we got within the business, what needs reviewing, what needs to be published, um, you know, and, and what again can help agents resolve issues quite that's, quickly. That's really good. Yeah. If we have a quick look at the data set. Yep. What I'm just wondering is, have they set up the automatic refresh for us? So if we click the ellipsis, the three dots, yes. So it's got a, out of the box, this is not only sort of our data set, our report and dashboard, but it's set up a daily refresh for us using our credentials. Okay, so you can see the next refresh there. Yeah. Could be tomorrow. So all we need to do is share this dashboard with whoever we wish, and that's it done. Yep. That's really good. All out of the box. Thank you.